Yo, this is Satana Plays Pokemon Violet. So, we have done two of the eight gym leaders. We've beaten Katie down here at Cortundo. And we then faced off against Larry here at Medley. So, we're down at two out of eight gym leaders, but today we're all about Team Star. So, which one should I do? The order is usually uh, Giacomo, Mela, Atticus, Ortega, and Eri, or Dark, Fire, Poison, Fairy, and Fighting. But I'm gonna do it the opposite way. I'm gonna take the first one and the last one. Then I'm gonna take the second first one and the second to last one, and then the third one in the end. So Atticus will be the last one. So, in the other words, let's go first to the Dark Crew base. The shortest way to get there is either to fly from Cascarafa or you can fly from the West Province Area 1. Kinda up to you which one you want to go to. That's just for nostalgic reasons, go to the West Province. Because we'll go to Cascarafa later anyways, might as well just do something else. Alright, so let's go up here. Here we have the flags as well. So Giacomo is of course a dark type. So biting is good, bug is good, and fairy is good. Don't use psychic and don't use ghost. Or try not to use psychic and ghost, because they are weak to dark. So here, um Skeldurge, try not to use. Rumble Gas as well. Uh, Azumarill is great here because it's a fairy type now. And uh, Azumarill with huge power is insanely powerful. It's one of the reasons why it's a very common Pokemon to see in Terror Raids. Just to maximize its power with Belly Drum and then spam physical moves to do massive damage. But you can do kind of what you want to do. Um, I'm actually going to start with Skeldur for a reason. It's because Giacomo's first Pokemon might catch you off guard. So. We're fine. So here's the Tetris Squad's base. This is where the entrance to Dracomo's base is. It's open now. Because it's no longer being like... Like a threat. You can still do the whole uh, Tetris Squad battle here if you want to. Like the Oida battle thing. You don't have to. You can also just run around and do whatever you want. Or you can go straight and challenge Giacomo. Kinda up to you. I think Giacomo's in the in this area because this is the yeah there he is so he's always at the at the big area where you fought in the first time so when you're ready just go to him and talk to him and have the battle so Skeldurge first yeah um yeah let's just keep the egg on him to get some XP that's fine so let's go here we are Giacomo hey it's my old pal Satano let me guess, you're here for a battle, right? Yep. Thanks for answering the call to stage. I'll have you dance into my tune in no time. Oh, I love the battle music. Here we go, Jackham of Team Star. And this is the reason why I started out with Skeletoach. Because he will start with Cacturn. Welcome to the mainstay, DJ Vice here, kicking off today's session. So as he said right now, we're kicking off today's session because Giacomo and the team starters can be battled every single day. They won't double up the team though. That's fine. So as we listen to this kick-ass music, we also have an opponent, Cactor. Dual type dark and grass. So, if I use Azumarill, it could have been hit by a grass move, that would be super effective against it, so be careful. But Cactor does know dark moves too, so be careful here, Skeletor is weak to dark, but it's also weak to the Cactor, it's weak to fire. A spiky Shield. A spiky Shield is basically the same thing as Protect, but it's also going to do bonus damage against opponents when used moves against it. But only physical moves. Sucker Punch is a priority move that always hits the opponent if the opponent is going to hit you back. 
Where comes the flamethrower and Cacturn is going to go down. That's nice. Next up is Crocodile. Crocodile is a Generation 5 Pokemon. Dual type Ground and Dark. So now Azumarill will do very well here because Azumarill, as a Water and Fairy, has two moves that are super effective against it. Both Water and Fairy moves are super effective against it. So let's go in with um, Azumarill. Here comes Azumarill. We're going to face off against Crocodile. Fiddle Nose Intimidate, which is a bit of a pain because it reduces our attack by one. Not much you can do about it, but just fight through it. So it doesn't really matter if you use Play, play Rough here or Liquidation. Um, play Rough has a bit higher uh, power. Liquidation, though, has a chance to reduce the defense, though. But I think we're going to be one-shotting it anyways. So we'll play Rough. Earthquake. Powerful ground move but it's not weak to ground. And Play Rough is going to one-shot it because Azumarill with huge power does insane amount of damage. It's crazy. Next up is Honchcrow. So Honchcrow is a dual-type dark and flying. So you can use... You can still use Azumarill I want to. You can use Ice Spinner, for example. Or just Play Rough. But let's get in some others as well. Let's get in Pomot here. Because Pomot doesn't need to be afraid of flying types because it's also electric. And that's also why I'm using it because of electric. So we'll get rid of the dark, the attack reduction on Azumara. There's Honchcrow. This is a Generation 4 Pokemon evolved from Murkrow, which was a Generation 2 Pokemon. Let's go with Double Shock. And lose out electricity. Boom. Honchcrow goes down. Alright, who's next? Mabostef. We know Mabostef, right? From Arvin. So Mabostef is a new Pokemon in generation number 9. It's a pure dark type. So we can just stick with Palmot if we want to, actually. Because uh, Palmot's also weak to fighting. I mean, uh, Mabostef is weak to fighting. It does no Intimidate, though. So we will reduce our attack. But let's just go all out with close combat. Here we go. That's a good move. We do reduce our attack and defense a bit, but that's fine. And I was if it's gonna go down. So that means we have one Pokemon left, and it's gonna be King Gambit. Oh boy. So, King Gambit is a new Pokemon. It's a Vault of B Sharp. It's dual type Dark and Steel. So, what you wanna do is to stick with fighting. Should have known this turned the bell to bands. Sex for you, the audience is on my side. We'll see. There's King Gambit, the samurai looking Pokemon. Dual type Dark and Steel. So this has a four time weakness to fighting. So one close combat should KO this one quickly. And yeah, as you've probably seen, the team star leaders do not Terra Slice. Which is kind of sad. That's how we beat Giacomo. Version 2. That's a next level flaw we got there. Yeah, he's not too hard. But he has a good various of typing though, but if you know what you're facing, he's not that hard. You turned my melody into Threnody. Can't say I'm too stoked about it, but nice work. Hasta la vista. So, not too bad. Again, you can fight him every day. So, if you want to do him again, just come back the next day. You can fight him again. Which is nice. Too bad it doesn't Terra Slice, though. It would be much more fun if he Terra Slices King Gambit to a Dark type or something. Or just use a non Dark type and then make it a Dark type like the gym leaders do. But hey, it's fine. Anyways. From one Team Star member to another, let's go to the North Province Area 2 and meet up with Airy. So Airy was the last of the of the Team Star we fought. She was also the last objective we did before we went into the uh, conclusion of the storylines in the main story. So she's a fighting type. Fighting 
is similar weakness, also is weak to fairy, but it's also weak to psychic and it's weak to flying. So if you have any of those Pokemon as well, they will do really good against Eris' team. But we don't, sadly. We don't have any flying Pokemon, nor do we have any psychic Pokemon. Don't even think we have any psychic moves either. We have Nisha, but that, that's not a, a psychic uh, damage move. It's a uh, thing that increases special defense by two, because... Uh, because Cloudstar is very tanky to special defense, you can see it's 185 is pretty high. But it's fine. You can also use Skeledurge and uh, Gramblegast, pretty good here because they are ghost types. Ghosts are immune to um, fighting moves. And this Luxray here wants to eat me alive, I guess. Sorry, Luxray. I am busy. Oh, what's this? Oh. A fungus. That's a high level fungus, level 49. That's pretty high level. Sorry, fungus. I'm off to Airy. So here's the Cap Squad base. This is where he fought Airy. She is the final of the uh, Team Star b members you usually face. We're going to take her a second just to mix up a bit. So all of her Pokemon are fighting type. She has a few dual types. But she also has some pure ones as well. So we shouldn't have too much issues with her. I also like that her that her team star base in like a Giacomo, which was like a big open square or field. Um, you can see that Eris uh, team star base is more like a narrow space. But it's fine. She even has t raid battles inside her base, which is pretty funny. Or maybe I guess I guess it's not raid battle in her base because we are, yeah, it's outside her base. But she's old looking one, I guess you can say. Should be up here, I think. If I'm not mistaken. No. Her up. Uh, she must be at the very top. Yeah, her base is very weird. She's a, she has a long base but a very narrow base. Yeah, there she is, up at the top here. There she is. So, Eric, fighting type. Let's see, which one should we start with? Um, I guess Azumarill should just start. Azumarill is too good to pass by. How are we on uh, PP though? Oh, we yeah, are full because we healed up. I forgot. My bad. Oh, wait. You can even see that we are on the very, very edge of the map. This is the edge of the map. And the very edge here is where she is at. So the very edge of the eastern part of Paldea. You'll find Eri. And let's battle her for a second time. Great to see you, Satano. Did you come to train with me? Yep. I'm always ready to battle. Let's see if you can handle my full power. We'll see. She looks strong, and she is. Here comes Area of Team Star. And her first Pokemon is Primeape. So Primeape from Generation 1, no longer a fully evolved Pokemon. Right then, Satana. I'll be ready for a good, proper battle. I like the area while she looks a bit scary. She is actually probably one of the nicer people in, uh, in Team Star. She and Atticus are very nice. The other ones are a bit brash and uh, cocky, but Eri and Atticus, they just seem very nice. I guess maybe they are the older ones as well in the team, but they're just very nice. So Prime Ape is Generation 1 Pokemon, pure fighting type, so weak to, to flying, weak to psychic, and fairy. Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot is a very powerful poison move. Can poison as well. But don't worry about that because Prime is not a poison type Pokemon. But it's going to. Oh boy! That's unfortunate. So he hits with Gunk Shot, which has a low, lower accuracy move. But my um, play rough at 90% misses. 
That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. That's unlucky. I hate to do this, but I'm just gonna make a guess. Go for it. Use a full restore. Get rid of the poison and heal up as well. Another gunsha hit. What's up with his luck here? A poison again? Are you kidding me? How am I so unlucky? Yeah, this is gonna be a KO here. I have no chance of surviving. Night potion. See if we can maybe survive. Just stole this one. I mean, he can't be lucky forever, right? Yes. My God. How unlucky am I? I mean, it's nice to error to use Gunk Shot on Primate to make sure that uh, you can survive. Or not survive, but to. I guess we're just gonna take a risk then. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. That's unfortunate. We just got unlucky here. Very unlucky. Gunk Shot has lower accuracy than Play Rough, and he hits four times in a row. And I miss with my move that has higher accuracy. That's just unfair, but that's just how life is. Oh well. Let's go and scale dodge them. In worst case, we can try to revive uh, Azimril. Go with Torch Song then. Stomping Tantrum. He has died as well. Or she even. Stomping Tantrum is a ground move. The reason I'm using Torch Song is just to increase my special attack so that I can uh, get higher special attack for the next Pokemon to be coming out. Go Torch Song again. There we go. Now special attack is plus two, and Skeletor is going to start to hit more harder. You know it's pretty slow, but now it's going to hit harder at least. Next up is Passimian. Passimian is also a fighting type. This is the one of the two monkeys in Generation 7. This one is a pure fighting. Let's go Flamethrower. That's a plus two special attack. That's gonna KO the Passivian in a single hit. That's why you wanna use Torch Song. If you can, try to set up Torch Song and then spam out. Lucario is next, and this one's gonna be scary because yes, Lucario is weak to fire. But Lucario probably is faster and might KO my Pokemon. So if I can survive, I should KO the Lucario. If I survive, but I got Dark Pulse and that's my KO. No, I survive! Phew! Then Lucario's gonna go, go down. Lucario is so weak to fire. So that's three down. We have two more to go. Next up is Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak is a dual type poison and fighting. So this one is uh, super weak to Psychic, but I don't have Psychic, which is a sh which is a shame. We can be weak to other things too, weak to Ground, for example. So we can use the Cloud Sire. Probably the best choice to have here. Okay, Cloud Sire versus Toxic Rock. Shuddered, which is a sign that he's uh, being annoying. I'm gonna revive an Azumarill here, gonna take a risk and try to survive. Ice Punch. It's effective because uh, Cloudstar is weak to. Um, weak to. Ice as a ground type, that's fine. Let's just use High Potion on Azimaril. Azimaril is now be back up again. Nice part nice again, that's fine. Let's use this turn out to heal up our Pokemon. Let's heal up. Um, I know that he's going to get killed anyways. There we go, Cloud Star goes down, that's fine. He was just there to take the damage anyway. Well, I'm guess we can use, but he's weak to, to, um, to poison. None of the moves are super effective against the other one either, so... P 
Tom is good here, actually. I forgot Tom had a dig, and dig is good against the poison types. I'm not strong as Earthquake, but this is a two turn move. No dig. Poison jab. Not gonna hit. Let's dig. That's gonna be KO. Nice. Down he goes. Annihilate is next. So we already faced Primeape. This is Primeape's new evolution form called Annihilate. This is a dual type fighting and ghost type. We could use a Zoomerill here now if we want to. Let's be careful in case he has a move that's going to beat us up. But let's just take a risk here. Let's take a risk. In case there's a poison mode, doesn't really matter. I want to go all out here. I focus best when I'm at a tight spot. I'll show I can still win. Yeah, sure. Go for it. I'm gonna go all here. Let's Terra Slice and go play rough. There you go. Terra Slicing. Here is Azumarill. Now it's a pure fairy type. Ice punch. No effect. Play rough is gonna hit. And that's gonna be a guaranteed KO. No chance for a prime infernape. I mean I left in to survive that one. And that's how it beat Aerie. So it was a bit tough one. Her prime ape was uh, very had good moves at the counter weaknesses, but we defeated her anyways. I don't like losing. But you're a strong one. Oh, she's nice. So that was uh, interesting. That was a great battle. Thanks so much for sparring with me today. Hasta la vista. Yes, you can battle her. As with Giacomo, you can battle her every single day. So that's nice. Alright, so I'm going to head to the Mesa Gosa South. Let's see up here. Because uh, that will be the end of this episode. We don't have more time. So... Now we battle two gym leaders, and we have done two team star members. So I did mention that there's also something else we're going to do, and that's going to be involving the Treasures of Ruin. So next episode, we're going to go for the first of the four Treasures of Ruin. Which one will it be? And will we be able to catch it? Will we be able to defeat it? We'll see. Treasures of Ruin, first of the four, is next. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's it for now. See you guys next time with my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.